let's talk about security on the homestead. Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. This is Kevin with Living Traditions Homestead. And today, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about some security options uh, for your homestead. Um, you know, when we first moved from uh, a big city, uh, the Phoenix area, out to the country, uh, it seemed like a very uh, safe place to be, uh, like we were away from a lot of the, uh, you know, problems of the city. Uh, and to a large extent, uh, that is very true. Uh, but after being here for a while, and even though we live uh, pretty remotely, uh, it started to become more and more obvious that a lot of those problems, while maybe on a smaller scale, uh, still are alive and well uh, out here, uh, even in the country. Um, so, uh, it got me thinking uh, the other day that uh, we might need to take a little bit more uh, precautions uh, just to uh, make sure that everything stays safe here on the homestead. Uh, just recently, uh, I was talking to one of our neighbors and he let me know that he just recently discovered that uh, someone has been sleeping in his barn for about the last uh, week or two. Uh, he's yet to actually catch the person, um, but he said that there's plenty of evidence that they've been there pretty much every night uh, sleeping in his barn. So, um, you know, we've got uh, a barn, uh, our, one of our barns, it doesn't really lock. Uh, it's just open on one side, and that got me thinking that, hey, someone could be doing that in our barn, and I may not even know. Um, we also recently had a, kind of a, dis a domestic issue um, at a house not too far from us. Um, and it involved uh, someone who uh, was on drugs and was quite violent. So, um, I mean, while it's not, you know, uh, like it is in the city where it might be, you know, right next door, as in, you know, feet next door, uh, it's still, you know, around and even in small towns or rural areas, a lot of those problems uh, still persist. Uh, so, um, when we lived in the city, uh, we had a security system on our house. Uh, it was a surveillance system with uh, cameras. And when we left, uh, I took it all down, I packed it up, uh, and honestly, it's been sitting in a box in our barn uh, since we got here to our homestead in the Ozarks. So, in light of all the new information uh, of what's happened recently, I decided it's probably best if I get that out and uh, set it up here uh, on our homestead. Um, so, uh, the system that we have, um, involves uh, four, it has four of these cameras uh, that I'll be able to uh, angle at different parts of the homestead. Um, and then these will run uh, into the house uh, where there is a, a hard drive that stores uh, video recordings and it also um, can play on a monitor. Uh, what I plan on doing is hooking this into our TV. Uh, so at night, uh, if we're you know watching TV and maybe we hear something strange outside, uh, we can just flip uh, to a certain uh, input and actually be able to see uh, four different spots of the homestead. Uh, this records uh, both during the day and during the night. Now, you know, so far we've talked mostly just about, you know, kind of man-made problems. Um, but, you know, the, the other benefit to this that I've been thinking about since, since I decided to set it back up is that this will also be quite helpful to, uh, you know, help look for predators. Uh, we do have... Uh, uh, at least uh, one person in the area who lets their dogs uh, run uh, quite a bit, and we've seen them down here on our homestead. Uh, luckily, they haven't really hurt our animals yet, uh, but we do have, you know, our chickens out, our ducks out, um, you know, we have goats, we have rabbits. Uh, so, um, you know, this will also be able to help us watch for uh, those types of predators, and also for, you know, raccoons and possums, skunks, foxes, all of those uh, which we have problems with. Uh, here on the homestead. So um, I'm going to get this uh, set up. Um, again, I'm going to have this angled at four different parts of our homestead. Uh, I plan on putting one that will kind of help keep an eye on the greenhouse behind me. Uh, I plan on having one that will uh, kind of angle down to our main uh, driveway so I can see if anybody pulls in. I'm going to have one facing down toward our chicken coop and barn. And then the uh, last one, uh, probably more over toward uh, our little guest cabin area and our well house, uh, so I can keep an eye on those things as well. So uh, this is a very easy system to set up. Um, it's made by a company called Z-Moto. Uh, I would leave a link to it below, but to be honest, the system is probably five or six years old, and I looked it up and it's already discontinued. Um, 
So, um, but if you are looking for quality products, uh, I recommend you look into this company, Z Moto. Uh, we are very happy with this one. We've had it set up in the past, um, and assuming nothing has happened to it in storage, um, which I don't think it has, uh, it should be a good system yet. So, I'm going to work on getting these cameras installed, and we're going to uh, get this uh, uh, running. Uh, into the house. All right, you guys, it's the end of the next day, and I have the security system uh, completely set up. Uh, it still works fine, just like it did uh, when we lived in Arizona. Uh, I was able to get all four cameras installed uh, on different uh, to view different parts of the homestead. Uh, they're all connected to the house, uh, but they have a pretty wide uh, angle to them. So um, I was able to set one up uh, that is going to be showing near the front door. Uh, so that if someone comes up to the door, we can see it on a monitor. Uh, there's another one that is pointing out toward our garage where my wood shop is. And there is one that will be pointing out toward one of our barns and the new greenhouse that we're building. And then the last one points out toward our uh, chicken coop and toward our guest cabin. Uh, so all in all, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I did realize uh, after starting to set it up that... Um, I don't have the right cable to hook it to the TV right now, so I had to hook it to an old uh, computer monitor that I have. Uh, so we'll have that hooked up until uh, Amazon can get me the uh, cable that I need to have it be able to hook up to the TV. So uh, hopefully, if everything goes well, this will help keep us just a little bit safer. Uh, you know, you can never be uh, too safe, uh, especially when you live out in the country. Uh, you know, law enforcement can't get here quickly, uh, so uh, you got to sometimes take things uh, up a level and uh, try to keep your family safe. So, uh, you know, we definitely believe in having uh, firearms here on the homestead uh, for uh, predators uh, and for, you know, other uh, dangers that may pop up. Uh, we uh, now have the security system hooked up again, and, you know, we just uh, believe in being prepared for uh, whatever may arise. So, uh, you guys, um, I hope that uh, this uh, just gives you a little something to think about. Uh, I would love to hear in what ways you help keep your homestead safe, uh, especially if you're living uh, more out in the country. Uh, what do you do to, you know, uh, make sure that things are staying safe while you're home, while you're away, and, uh, you know, what measures can you take? So, uh, you know, we do have this vicious guard dog, so that, that will help us a lot, but uh, you, can never be, <laughs> you can never be too safe uh, when you uh, are trying to protect your family. So... You guys, I hope that this video has helped you out just a little bit. I hope that uh, it gives you some things to think about. And again, uh, you know, I would love to hear from you. If you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave. Uh, if you are a regular visitor here, uh, thanks very much for stopping by again. And as always, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead. And God bless.